Hey guys, it's Cassie. Today I'm going to be talking about the worst luxury items from my favourite brands because we can't always get it right. Guys, if you are new here, my name is Cassie. I'm a self-diagnosed luxury addict. I've got videos on Mondays, Wednesdays and Fridays. So if you like luxury fashion, then you're probably going to love it here. So head down there, subscribe, turn on the bell, become a member of our luxury addicted family. Or when are we going to rehab? <gasps> Never. Guys, are you ready? Let's go. So I have nine brands today and the worst items might be because they are truly hideous, awful to look at, wish I'd never laid eyes on them, or maybe it's quality issues and things like that. So settle in, we're going to kick it off with Balma. Wow, excellent blazers. They love a good mini dress. Give us all the pagoda shoulders in the world. They do some great things. One of the things they don't do well happens to be the Be Bold sneaker. These are just hideous. There is no other way to cut it. There is no outfit or way that you could style these shoes that makes me think, actually, hold on a second, they're all right. They're not. It looks like two semi-deflated balloons strapped to the bottom of a sock, sock trainer of sorts. It's like, do we remember those like bouncing shoes? They're like that, but less entertaining. You know, give me the jump shoes any day. At least I can get some entertainment out of it. These shoes? I'm at a loss for words. The second brand is Fendi. And the item I've thought of here, uh, I don't even remember what their real name was, but I call them the Marie Antoinette sock heels. This is some like Louis the 14th stuff. Okay, this is some like 16th century business. Firstly, the curve of the like back of the heel is like far too, far too exaggerated. And then the heel comes in and it's like, I don't know. This is like Napoleon sort of stomping around, giving his orders. I don't, I don't like these shoes. I believe that they were part of, you know, a seasonal collection. So I'm glad to see the back of them. There was one also that just had so much going on. It was like embroidered with the little flowers. It had the lace up, the toe was round. <gasps> there was just, oh. Okay, controversial one number three for Dior. I've gone ahead with the mini book tote. Now, I both love and hate this item. I love it because my gosh, it's a mini version of a crowd pleaser. It's a mini version of an excellent, excellent piece of Dior's collection. Oh my gosh, what is there not to love? The logistics. The logistics are what I do not love about this bag, okay? And that is why it makes it one of the worst things for me. That material that the book tote is made out of is kind of stiff and it's stiff for a reason because of the small and the large sizes, you know, you're filling it up, book tote, books, you know, whatever. Maybe it's your work bag, maybe it's your travel bag, whatever, you know. It's meant to store a lot of stuff and it's stiff to keep its shape. On the mini, because there's not a lot of space, the stiffness means that it's just like, it's just too thin. Plus the flat handles. The flat handles absolutely ruined it. I don't know why they decided to do that. Flat handles are not comfortable, even if there's nothing in there. I don't know, the logistics of it completely throw me. I think that it has been, it could have been designed so much better. Mm. Burberry. And I have gone with the Shearling Trim Vinyl Trench Coat. Now, the description here, Shearling Trim, would maybe have you believe that, you know, you've just sort of got shearling on the cuffs. Maybe a shearling collar? I don't know. No, the entire back of the coat is shearling. So really, you're like, kink at the front, costume party at the back. I do not know what is happening here. Who is really buying this? I mean, for what use do you have this, this coat? God forbid you're outside and it rains, your entire back is gonna be soaked. Not your actual back, your shearling back. And shearling, wet, that kind, of, my gosh, that is just going to look like a wet Afghan hound. Brand number five, Louis Vuitton. The item, the slalom flat half boots. Now, upon first inspection, I thought, yeah, all right, they're ugly. But I thought, but do they have a purpose? They look like something to do with skiing. So I looked in the description, not a mention of skiing. So you're telling me you made this for like a casual purpose. A winter casual purpose. It's so ugly to me. 
not only the shape, not only the fact that it sort of looks like a clown's shoe but in boot form, it looks as though the original design of the boot was meant to be, you know, like a lot slimmer. And then somebody had the JPEG image and dragged it out and just made it wide. It looks stupid. That's really the only way to describe that. It's ugly. It's stupid. I don't know why anyone would choose to spend their money on this if it's not for, you know, like an apre skin. Even then, they do like a less ugly version of a, like an apre, apre ski boot that maybe you should, maybe you should go down that way. A moon boot, a moon boot, glorious. You don't need to go to this. Brand number six, this one was a, this one was a sad one for me. Brand number six, Versace. The item, the icon bags. In general, Versace's bag, bag designs have been lacking. Nothing too exciting, nothing to write home about, don't even blink an eye at it, right? The icon bags out of all of those, it looks like they tried to do something vintage, very Gianni about it, but it didn't work. And one thing about this bag that really annoys me is the fact that the crossbody strap is metal and it's the little Greek keys. That is going to snag on literally every piece of clothing. Oh, that will piss me the hell off, okay? So truly due to, this is another one down to logistics, okay? And that's why it's the worst. You really think a metal strap with those Greek keys pointing in every single sodden direction is really not gonna snag on my knitted jumper? Don't do that to me. Don't play those games with me. Brand number seven, the item, the Napa leather caban jacket. I just like straight up, this looks like something that like a Lego would wear. It's just very unflattering. And then you throw the color into the mix and I'm sure it's available in other colors and I'm sure that they're fine. This specific color with the color of it and the sheen makes it look like you're wearing somebody's skin. I hate it, it's awful. Belt it, if you're gonna get this, at least belt it, give it some body, but just straight off the bat being like, I'm wearing this huge jacket. Uh, Mm. Brand number eight, Gucci. And I actually have two items here. And the first one is, is a small collection. You know how I feel about the Marmont collection. You know I hate the belts. I'm not a fan of the bags either. We don't have the time to go into this. Just when I thought the Marmont was bad enough, they went and they brought it out in this hideous brown shade. It's an awful shade of brown. We don't need to reach that level of, you know, like grossness on this channel, but you know what I thought of when I saw these bags. I'm just gonna leave it there. Now, the second worst item that like truly, this is one of the worst, one of the worst items that Gucci's thrown at us recently. The ripped tights, yes. For the grand total of however much these are, you can have a pair of already ripped tights. Yes, the tights that you throw away because your nail goes through it or it catches on something and you're like, great, that's going straight in the bin. No, you can actually now pay for that. Done for you. Just gonna let that sit with you. And uh, the last brand I did want to mention was Chanel. Now, um, I'm sure that they've had their fair share of like ugly designed items, but today the worst luxury item that I think comes out of Chanel are their crystal studs. Any little Chanel CC studs that have crystals involved, don't. Don't do it to yourself. Why, Cassie? Because the crystals fall out, right? And then you go in store and you say, oh, crystals have fallen out, can you help me? If you get a good essay, because probably the majority of them will say, it's wear and tear. If you get a nice one, they say, yeah, we can do that for you. It's gonna take six to eight weeks. We're gonna have to send it back to Paris. So you're going to send that item back to Paris for them to just super glue those crystals back in for the same thing to happen to you in a few months. Don't bother, okay? The quality of those stud earrings with the crystals are through the floor. So don't even bother with it. Honestly, if you want a pair of stud earrings, I would tell you to go to Dior and get the Trabal, but if you still want the Chanel logo flex, just get the ones without crystals. Thank me later. Let me know what you thought of my choices. Let me know if you think there are any other 
horrible luxury items that these, these brands have made. I'm going to link to another video here in case you haven't already seen it. Have an amazing morning, afternoon or evening wherever you are and I will see you in my next video. Mwah.